Hi, this video is going to be about uh, blood group system, about ABO blood group system, MN and RH uh, positive and uh, rhesus factor negative. So, uh, here is a problem. A woman with uh, type O and, and RH uh, positive blood is married to a man with type A, MN and RH uh, negative blood. They had a child. Unfortunately, there was a mix-up in the hospital of the five children listed below, which one could have been conceived by this couple. And here's the five uh, answers that you may choose from. And I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem first on your own. And when you would be ready with your results, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is my explanation. First let's start with blood uh, group O for the uh, mother of the child and we also know that father of the child belongs to the blood group A. So in the ABO blood group system we may have four different types of uh, blood. First uh, blood uh, type A can be made by two uh, genotypes that is AA and AO. So these two genotypes make one phenotype A. So uh, next would be blood uh, group B that can be made by two genotypes, one would be BB and another one would be BO. And third genotype would be blood group AB and it's made only by one genotype that is AB also and the last group would be O that is also made by only one genotype that is O O. So, um, let's now consider what kind of uh, blood group uh, these two parents might have. So, we know that uh, mother belongs to the blood group O, and here is this blood group. So, we may use uh, Punnett square. So, here would be mother of the child, and here is only one possible genotype for her and uh, father of the child belongs to the blood group A and as you see blood group A can be made by genotype AA and AO and AO genotype would produce more uh, possibilities so we would use this genotype instead of AA so we would have AO here and because we don't know uh, which uh, genotype of the father, we have to uh, suggest that this is, would be this genotype because this gives us more different possibilities. So we shouldn't exclude any possibilities. So let's now uh, take a look what kind of uh, uh, genotypes and phenotypes you might have here for the child. So the child should be AO, or AO here, or O here, or O here. So we have here uh, blood group A and blood group O. Both would make 50% uh, possibility. So now, uh, as long as we know that uh, child only can belong to the blood group A and O, we can exclude any answer that give us different blood group. For example, answer A, uh, blood group AB, and as you see, uh, there is no such uh, possibility for these two parents, and uh, here would be father of the child. So, um, we, as you see, uh, cannot get such a child with AB 
when we have only choice of the blood group A or O. So we can cross out this answer. We even not interested in uh, other uh, blood groups because uh, we can exclude the first uh, blood group in the ABO blood group system. So let's now consider answer B. Once again, this gives us uh, for ABO blood group B and we can exclude this answer also. Answer C, uh, blood group in the ABO blood group system A. This can be uh, our answer. Um, let's move to the answer D. We have AB and this is not possible. And uh, answer E gives us blood group O and this is also possible. So now we have to move to the MN blood group system in order to find uh, the correct answer. In the MN uh, blood group system we have two alleles. One would be uh, M and another N. And these two alleles are co-dominant. So that means that these two alleles may produce three different genotypes. And one would be, and phenotypes also, one would be M, M, another one M, N, and the third one would be N, N. And of course this uh, would mean uh, phenotype M here, M, N here, and N phenotype here. So three phenotypes. And N would make a phenotype N, MN would make MN, and MM would make phenotype M. So, as long as we know that uh, father belongs to the uh, group that is MN, so once again we can build a Punnett square. So, MN here, and this is father of the child and mother belong to the blood group N as you see here so this give us only one possible genotype that is NN so as you see once again if we build the Punnett square uh, only two kind of uh, genotypes possible one would be MN MN here and and here and 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 here so we can get uh, with uh, m n or n genotype and uh, in answer c we have uh, phenotype m and uh, in answer e we have uh, phenotype n so as you see, this would be the correct answer and M would be incorrect answer because we don't have such a uh, possibility here. We have only MN or N blood group. So we can exclude answer C also. And what we left is answer E. And uh, once again, let's uh, consider the last uh, uh, test for the blood that is can be RH positive or RH negative or rhesus factor. So uh, as you see uh, there only can be two uh, possibilities positive or negative and genotypes also can be ways uh, for example for the uh, negative we should have two alleles that uh, would be negative so this is going to be RH negative and RH negative that would make uh, RH negative phenotype and for the uh, positive phenotype we may have uh, RH positive one allele and another RH negative and we also may have R 
H positive one allele and R H positive the second allele. So two genotypes here would give us uh, R H positive results and one uh, genotype here that would produce um, negative RH blood. And what is this means? Uh, RH means that there is uh, one protein that is present on the surface of the red blood cells. And when we have RH negative phenotype, that means that there is no such uh, surface protein. So uh, we know that uh, mother is RH positive. So this can be this genotype or this one. And we know that uh, father is RH negative. So could they produce RH positive child? And uh, this is absolutely true because uh, father can donate only RH negative and mother if heterozygous for this trait uh, would also can donate uh, RH positive allele in this case uh, the child would be RH positive or can uh, donate to the child uh, RH negative allele in her uh, egg cell so the child would be RH negative so RH positive results are possible. So this is would be our answer today, answer E. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.